Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Fetchit. Today, I'm a little bit sick, so I'm gonna be sniffling a bit. Just forgive me. But today, I'm gonna be showing you the only video you will ever need to use stretch resolution. I'll be showing two methods, and they are very important because your hardware and system will depend which one you need to use. And I can assure you, either one of these methods you have not seen. All right, so getting straight into this, we need to hop into our NVIDIA control panel. Now, how we're gonna do that is you can just right-click your screen, and it should come up here. If it doesn't, you can click your windows key you can type in nvidia control panel and it should come up and if it still doesn't what you can do is you can go into the app store or the sorry the microsoft store right here and you can download it there and now if you still don't have it it's probably because you're on amd so you may have a separate thing called amd radeon settings and it's basically the same thing just mirror what i do but now we're here we want to go down to the display tab here and go to adjust desktop size and position on the scaling tab you will see perform scaling on right here underneath scaling modes and if you click this little tab or maybe you can't click a tab here this will basically depend everything so if you only have gpu in here so you have gpu scaling only on your monitor you cannot do the second method so you will follow the first method i show now this is a little bit disappointing for you because it means you will not get the best one-to-one -one response time and the lowest latency because your monitor is probably a little bit outdated and i you know hate to be the bearer of bad news but that is just the facts or potentially you're using g-sync on your monitor and in that case, disable G-Sync. It's really bad anyway. You probably don't need it, to be honest, unless you have a full G-Sync configured setup. Turn it off and it could fix this issue. But assuming you don't have G-Sync and you probably know you don't have G-Sync, you just need to upgrade your monitor. All right, listen up, guys. You know how much I've spent on my Fortnite account and I know how much you hate dealing with overpriced game currency and sketchy exchanges. We've all had our fair share of horror stories, but I finally found the site I can trust. It's called Eldorado. Eldorado has completely changed the game for me every transaction on here is secure so there's zero stress about being scammed plus they have something called Eldorado trade shield protection which means they've got your back every step of the way i know we all want the best currency rates and with Eldorado, i get my game currency fast like in just a few minutes fast they seriously have some of the lowest prices i've seen and i'm saving a ton compared to other places and when it comes to in-game cosmetics same deal they've got everything you need to deck out your locker and i'm not the only one talking about this check out these trust pilot reviews Thousands of gamers just like me are giving Eldorado top marks. It's legit. Their support team online 24-7. If you ever need help, it could be 3 a.m. They're ready to answer any questions and have got a money back guarantee. So it's pretty much risk free. Either you get your order or you get your money back. Simple as that. So if you're tired of overpriced game currency and want a trustworthy place to safely exchange in-game cosmetics, check out Eldorado.gg. It's my go-to and I know it will make a difference in your gaming. Just give it a try and thank me later. All right, back to the video. Now, if you have display, make sure you're using display. Just literally select display in here and you're all good to go. No worries whatsoever. You will be following the second method. So you can either skip to that or watch the first because you can still do the first. It just won't be the most optimized method. But in terms of efficiency, I would say it is quite optimal. It's, it's faster. So the first method for my GPU scaling folks and maybe my display scaling folks, if you're lazy, is to actually just do it all in here where we are currently. What you're going to do is go to the change resolution tab right at the top you want to press customize you want to press create a custom resolution you also want to make sure this is um ticked right here enable resolutions not exposed by the display it's going to give you a legal disclaimer i've actually never got this okay please don't sue me in video but okay what you want to do is right here create custom resolution horizontal pixels now you just choose your resolution so i'm going to leak a future video right here but a good option would be 1798 by 1080 super op i'm going to make a full video on this but yeah there's my stretch resolution make sure your refresh rate is your monitor's default refresh rate everything else can just stay as it is but kind of cross-reference mine if this is an automatic if your scan type isn't progressive and your color depth isn't 32 something might be wrong so just make sure this is all looking the same of course you may have different horizontal pixels or vertical lines then you want to press test i'm not going to do this because it'll black out my monitor once you've done that press ok or apply and then you should see the resolution here you want to select it press ok and then if it's not already selected in this section right here you can scroll down and there'll be a custom resolution section where you can select it, press apply, and boom, you'll have it selected. So I've already got mine selected in a different way using the second method, but you get the gist. Oh, and I almost forgot, going back into adjust desktop size and position, make sure you are on full screen. Because if you're not on full screen, it's going to cause some issues. So you're on full screen. This is only for, again, for the first method for my GPU folks and my lazy display folks be on full screen. Now what you want to do is type in run right here. In this little pop-up, you want to type in local app 
data percent. Now you want to press F on your keyboard and you should find Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client, game user settings. Now you can right click this, go to properties, make sure read only is unticked. You don't need this ticked. Double click into here. It's going to open up your game user settings. You want to press control F and search in resolution and like click three times works. But yeah, you'll get to here resolution size X. This just helps you like find it faster. A quick way to do this. If you've never used stretch resolution before and you 100% know you are on 1920 by 1080, so native resolution, you can actually go to edit and then go to replace, or you can just use a shortcut control H. And if you type in 1920 here, you can replace that with whatever value you want. So in my case, it will be a 1798 and I'll just press replace here. So any value in here that is 1920, so default, it will change it to this. Oh, sorry. Actually, it'd be easy to press replace all, but the traditional way just to be safe, maybe you use a stretch res before you can just find resolution size X, resolution size Y, make this correspondent with what you just had in your NVIDIA control panel. And also the last user confirmed resolution size X and Y here. Once you've done that, you press file, save, and now you can launch your game. If you ever have issues where it's launching in full screen mode, for some reason, you can force your game to launch in a stretch resolution by changing it again in here if it reset itself and also doing the, like the properties thing and clicking read only, but you shouldn't need to do this. Now, moving on to the second method, I'm going to go through this as fast as possible for you guys. It's a little more advanced, but it's way better. And I'll show you the easiest way to do it. What you want to do is instead do not have your scaling mode set to full screen, have it set to no scaling. And also don't worry about creating a custom resolution. Actually, what you want to do is make sure you're on native to start with. And if you do have any custom resolutions, delete them from here. And then what you want to do is download CRU, which is shorthand for custom resolution utility. If you just search into Google, I will put a proper link down below. It should be the top one from monitor test, but the link will be down below just to make sure you can go on here. What you want to do is the download is right at the top. It's kind of hard to see. Everything kind of blends in on this website, but yeah, it's this download right here. Just click this. It will download. You might need WinRAR or something to extract the file, but once you do that, you can access it right here and just open CRE.exe. Ignore all of these. Don't mess with any of these unless you have a major problem. And if you have a big issue and some reason something isn't working, you can press reset all and this will basically reset the whole application and then you can uninstall it if you want to do that. But don't worry about this. Please don't click any of these because it will just only cause issues if you don't need to. Also, it may have said this was a virus or it detected a virus. If you have a virus detector, it's a false positive. You can put this, the virus that it detects into virus total or into the virus total community forum. A lot of people are getting this flagged false positive. You are not going to get a virus from this. It's Jerrion's used it. Peterbot uses it. Every pro has probably used it at this point. If you want to open CRU, just run it. It should look like this. You want to press the drop down, find your monitor. Make I have two monitors, so there's two that have like active written next to them. The main thing is just make sure you have this. It says active and make sure you've got your like correct monitor that you play your game on. You don't want to like put stretch onto your secondary monitor. So this is mine here. Yours may look a little bit different to mine because I have already done this process. But what you want to do is first of all, on the left hand side where it says established resolutions, you want to click the none button so it deselects them all. And then on detailed resolutions and standard resolutions, you want to press delete all on both of them. I've got none here and I do not want to delete this because again, I've already set it up. So I can't demonstrate it exactly, but literally just press this delete button, delete all, delete all. And then in extension blocks, do not delete these all. You want to press edit and you want to delete all the detailed resolutions in your extension block. So right here, just press delete all. And then you should have another option here called TV resolutions. I don't have it. Again, I've already done this, but just click that and then delete all. To clarify, do not delete audio formats. Delete the one that says TV resolution. This is just an example. And if you accidentally have already done that, you can press reset here and it will restore it. So no worries. And down here in data blocks, I do not have it because I've already deleted it. But if you see something called TV resolutions, click it and press delete. To clarify, TV resolutions, all these you want to keep. Just delete the one that says TV resolutions and delete it solely. Don't press delete all. If you have accidentally done that, you can press reset and it will restore them. Once you've done that, you can press OK. And now what we want to do is create our native monitor resolution again in the detailed resolution section. We deleted it initially. This is just to make sure everything is correctly in place. So what we're going to do now is press add here. Change the timing to exact reduced. A lot of people don't do this. Put your horizontal as 1920. Your vertical is 1080. All your native monitor resolution. Some of you may be on like a higher quality monitor with different resolution. You probably know what your native res is, or at least you should do. Just make sure you put native resolution into here, your native res. And for now, keep your refresh rate at 60 hertz. This is not going to affect your game. You will not be playing at 60 hertz if you have a higher hertz monitor. Once you've done that, press OK. Again, make sure the timing is on exact reduce. I'm not going to mess with mine because I've already set it up. And now there's two paths here for anyone with 60 hertz monitor 
or a 75 hertz monitor, you are going to now create your custom special resolution in standard resolution. So this middle box, you're going to press add, you're going to click here, you're going to go down to other resolution and you're going to just create your resolution. So whatever you want it to be again, 1798 by 1080, that is an option. And then you want to put your refresh rate to whatever your monitor refresh rate is. So in this case, probably 60 or definitely 60 or 75. And then you want to press OK. And there you go. And now for anyone, which is probably most of you guys, honestly, who have over 75 hertz. So I don't know, 120, 144, 240, 360, 580, I think it is. or five, oh yeah, I don't know. If you have over 75 hertz, you are going to create it in your extension block. So go down here, click your extension block, press edit. We've already been here. What we want to do is where it says detailed resolutions, we want to press add, change the timing to exact reduced and just create your resolution. So I don't know, an example could be 1444 by 1080 and then your refresh rate 240 or I'm just guessing that's my refresh rate but whatever your refresh rate is put it in here and press ok and then once you've created your resolution select it press ok press ok this should now close the program if not just close it out yourself then the final step is to right click your desktop go to display settings or you can just find it in here display settings it may look a little bit different on windows 10 i'm on windows 11 but it's the same concept scroll down go to advanced display and it should show here that your desktop mode and active signal mode is the resolution you have chosen they need to both be the same and they both need to be the custom resolution you desire now if they're not restart your pc and this will fix that just come back into here double check that this is the case if it isn't go to display adapter properties for display one go to list all the modes and you should be able to find it here so in my case it's 1798 by 1080 select the custom resolution press ok and now 100 million percent your custom resolution should now be desktop mode and active signal mode it should show here your monitor will also look obviously stretch resolution now what you can go and do is launch fortnite it should launch in this resolution and if it doesn't you can affirm it by going back into your local app data percent fortnite file da, 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 config windows client game user settings basically just go back in your config we've already shown you how to do this go back into here control f you can type in resolution find resolution size x and y and you can just kind of affirm it in here but that is everything now you've either successfully got stretch resolution through gpu or you've done it through display and if you have any issues let me know down below in the comments you could also join my discord server and let me know there and i can help troubleshoot but this should cover everything again there is that little i'll quickly show you here you can actually run this reset all.exe if you are facing like major major issues and then you can install the program or reinstall it but this should literally do everything for you and just what it would do is it will reset everything but that's like worst worst case i think the only circumstance where that will really happen is if you thought you had display scaling and you only had gpu because again if you have gpu you cannot do the second method you have to do the first method and to double clarify if you have a display you can also do the first method if you want or like you can solely do the first method but ideally you want to do the second and if you have gpu upgrade and then come back here and do the second method